So you've been uh, uh, to the to this Filipino community events. Can you give us some some of your impressions initially? Well, I'm very much impressed and inspired by what I've seen in these community events because, uh, as I mentioned before, this a strong sense of civic duty, civic mindedness, and also. Uh, our community members have retained their strong cultural identity and their ties with uh, the native land, the Philippines. Um, the strong flavor of, uh, you know, Filipino culture is there. They serve Filipino food and uh, they have Filipino activities. In the, um, we went to Scarborough and it was a uh, like Asian Cultural Heritage Month or something, and they showcased Philippine culture. And in this event, they also had uh, seminars or lectures for uh, Philippine community members, like uh, dealing with depression and anxiety, parenting in Canada. Those very, very important uh, things that uh, uh, everyone should learn. In order to integrate themselves well in uh, in Canadian society, so um, we they had resource persons like uh, I think uh, Doctor um, her name was uh, Bismonte. So um, I observed in the anxiety and depression lecture, which was very useful, and these these kinds of things uh, inspire me, and uh, for me is very heartening because. Uh, we still have this uh, Filipino pakikisama and pagtutulungan, even here in Canada. And I noticed that uh, the um, commemorations we've had, uh, the uh, solemnity of the flag ceremony, the flag raising ceremony, and the way we handle the flag, for example, uh, the history of the flag was told to uh, everybody there, uh, Filipinos, non-Filipinos, and also the children, especially the new generation. So that's very, very uh, heartening and inspiring to me. Yeah, I understand from you, uh, ma'am, that this is your first uh, posting, first foreign posting. As head of post. As head of post. So uh, I'd like to know how, how you feel about that. Well, it's, it's uh, in part, it's a challenge. But uh, in part, uh, you know, my service in the Department of Foreign Affairs for 20 years or so uh, were all meant, uh, was all meant for me to prepare for this uh, assuming uh, the leadership of a post. I've uh, had uh, a consular exposure in Paris and Geneva, and um, I've had uh, intensive dealings with the communities there. So, uh, in a way, they have prepared me for Toronto. Of course, Toronto is a, uh, you know, in a class uh, by itself because of the, the, the magnitude of the Filipino population here. But uh, what I can promise is that we'll do the best we can to give the community the, the, the consular services they deserve to the best of our ability and to the extent of our resources, of course. We have to consider that. But um, as I've said, we, we have started on the right foot, very positive, and I look forward to uh, working and dealing and playing with the community. I've been invited to a golf tournament already, so yeah. Okay, thank very you. Very positive. Okay.